Today I'm giving you 20 tips that I use to make factories look like this. Now it's a big video so we're going to be as quick as we can. So if you feel like I've missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. First off, the basics. Building on foundations is the first step to cleaner factories and where possible I recommend using 90 degree angles, which are easily done with pipes or conveyor supports by placing another support two snapping points in front and then two to the side and that's from the initial conveyor or pipe and will give you the perfect right angles each time. These are just two little tips you should never go without but let's move on to the more serious ones. When it comes to factories always have a rough idea where the inputs and outputs of your resources in that factory will be. This allows you to keep your logistics floors much cleaner planning them ahead. Now when it comes to factories I always recommend feeding the buildings from above or below. This keeps the factory floor clear, allowing you to walk around. That being said, you can use walkways and catwalks above the factory or actually snapping them to the manufacturers and, and constructors. And this can be used instead or alongside the previous tip. Update 5 has also brought many new items. The beams and barriers can be used to create walkways along the factory floor. Separating the factory from the floor that you walk along can add extra detail to even the smallest factory. Now before we get on to my favourite tips, I wanted to let you know we've just released our newest album to Spotify. Now it's our own music that we produce and we now have 7 albums with 140 songs to listen to. These songs that you're hearing right now are from the album Calm and it has to be one of my favourites. If you listen out you can actually hear some of the elements which were inspired by my time in South and Central America. And they're perfect to chill out to whilst you're playing Satisfactory. And similar to Stream Beats, if you know what it is, it's free to use and if you're a content creator, it's copyright free. So you get free music to use and on the flip side, listening to the music does help support the channel. So why not share it with your friends? Link is in the description and also in the cards attached. But enough of that. Let's get back to the tips. Now barriers are great for adding detail. Now you can use these to place walls on different points of a barrier by holding down control with the wall open over the barrier at the time. Now Pobcat, I've just spoken to him today, suggests using the previous tip to create insulated walls. Now having an empty cavity between walls works great as a space for cable logistics, but depending on how much space you have, you may even use them for things like decoration or for clipping lights through, or even greater logistics such as pipes and conveyors. Now this tip also works great alongside compartmentalizing your factory, keeping manufacturing areas in their own separate sections within a bigger factory. This is gr a great way to keep the various resources in the chosen locations without it getting too crazy. And regardless of compartmentalizing or not, always give yourself more space than you think you need. Now to help you keep your factory sections organized, I tend to run a logistic floor above or below the factory specifically for bringing the resources to the factory whilst keeping the other walking spaces clear. Also another quick tip in regards to logistic floors, make sure that they're 8 meters in height, it just gives you a lot more space to work with. You don't want it cramped in there. Outside of the factory or even for larger logistics sections, keep the resources in large buses to run the resources rather than multiple lines spread across as this can quickly become a bowl of spaghetti and if it's outside why not lift it up so that you can travel beneath it. I personally like to keep each of my factories on its own circuit. You can do this by adding switches outside each building or run the wires individually to a specific control floor which controls all of the, the, the factory sections. Now in order to do that neatly and for better management, do check out my video on cable management, we have a load of tips there. Now we've also already talked about beams, pillars and barriers, but there's a lot more items to use, all of which are unlocked in the awesome shop. Check them out and use them. 
Now, one such item that you can unlock are lights. Now, these are a great way to level up your builds. Even better yet, you can use beams to block off light directionally by spacing them slightly further away from the midpoint of the light. This is a great for boxing sections and it really does look fantastic. And at this point, if you're finding this video helpful, then please do hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more. It really does help the channel out. And if you have a few moments free, why not let me know in the comment section below what you thought was the best tip. We still have plenty more to get through and what you thought of the video, because we're trying to get through quickly um, whilst keeping it very informative. When doing pipe and hypertube management, remember to hold R down. This gives you different styles to work with. Personally, I find horizontal to vertical the best one to use for pipes. Consider adding extra detail to make your factory pop. Players often forget vinyls, 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 and adding extra detail, such as foundation edges and wall design. Even adding a bit of depth with beams can make a huge difference to your factories. Also, don't be afraid to play around with different architectural styles. Sticking to one style is very much like having vanilla ice cream all the time. It tastes good, but can get boring. So why not play around with architecture? The different flavor is a nice little change. Now, if you're not sure what to do with architecture, feel free to get inspired by what's around you as well as other players. The inspiration really is all around us. You can walk outside your front door and see things outside in your local city with how everything's shaped and all the different uh, diversity between the buildings. Or you can look in films or do a, a Google search. I've used them all before when it comes to inspiration for my builds. Also, if you're not too confident in your own abilities, do not try to do awkward shapes. As fun as it is, it's a big challenge and can be problematic. That being said, if it is problematic and you find yourself having lots of different gaps that you need to fill, you can use pillars and beams to hide those little accidents. Also, Another great tip is to use soft clearance, which we've had since update five. We've already mentioned that you can clip things like white, like lights through the walls to add a detail. But with soft clearance, we have a lot more opportunities available to play around with. And really don't be afraid to experiment. So there you are guys, over 20 tips for cleaner factories. If you do want more cable tips, check out my cable management video and don't forget my music. Thanks goes to all those that go above and beyond supporting the channel. Most notably our Solar Clips patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin, Jerry2, Popcac and Fireflesh, as well as our Lunas, Dixie Chris, Lord of July, Ben and our Blood Moon, Chick Norris. Anyway guys, until next time, ciao for now.